all right folks I'm gonna try to wrap up this video in English language because this event is uh, international it takes place in many cities all around the world at the same time and uh, that's A and B significant percentage of my viewers are also of international origin and I've always felt like I owe them one in English language so here it is We were waiting for this marathon race to start and that would happen at 1 p.m. local time. The weather was cloudy and at times I did feel a few raindrops like hitting onto my forehead. As you can see, the mood among the runners down at the starting line was kind of elevated, as it should be. And the sunshine was somehow finding its way through the clouds and beaming down upon us with its rays hopefully bad weather wasn't gonna ruin this entire event never-ending stream of running humans young and old was unleashed and I was really surprised to see how many of them were participating in this run I don't know like 5,000 10,000 At times I did switch off, turn off my camera to change the angle so I did not capture all of them running past us. So uh, I don't know the exact official number of how many uh, runners participated but I assume it was huge, 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 like one million.
then we decided to take a walk to the old town in pursuit of some cheap restaurant because that morning we got up really late did not have a breakfast so uh, yeah we were on our way to there stay tuned When we got there, my wife ordered a cappuccino. I had a an apple cider. Then we ate pasta with truffle and uh, shrimp, respectively. They gave us some grated cheese for free. We also had one salad seasoned with olive oil and vinegar. We paid like 270 kuna plus 20 kuna for the tip. My wife said it's really cheap, but for me, well, I'm kind of a miserly, thrifty. This is uh, yes. deep. He knows what he's here to do. He's got a clear purpose. That purpose is to stay ahead of the catcher car. So many of the runners, of course, raising funds uh, for spinal cord injury based on their distance. It's a common practice in uh, many charity events. And there is Anita Gerhardt, uh, the CEO of the Wings for Life Foundation, with her app run. She has been caught by the virtual uh, catcher car. Well done, Anita. Solo app run. But it's Central Europe, uh, Germany, there's still over 18,000, over 26,000 still running in Austria across the United States of America. <laughs> Actually, this is a world around uh, everywhere. It's a lovely shot in uh, Neymar. Mother and daughter, right for those who can't. Talk about inspiration, eh? Hey? Her role model running right alongside her. <laughs> It's the next generation of uh, Wings for Life. Right, listening to the conversations of uh, three runners out there in uh, Milan, Italy. 87,035 runners still in the ninth edition of the Wings for Life. My wife here showing off some of her inherited skills to play table tennis or ping pong, but I wasn't impressed much. Then we decided to take a walk down to the uh, waterfront uh, promenade. Riva is the name in Croatian language. And uh, recently it has been uh, renovated, rebuilt. Soon it will be over and by the time 
summer comes it will be completed and uh, yeah it will be available for uh, walking live broadcasting from the uh, wings for life world run was continuing in the Izmir in Turkey 65,521 and uh, for the top and uh, one of the runners that can certainly give uh, Nina Zarina a few things to think about in Zarina's quest to win the global title for the fall. all of that guys to raise funds for spinal cord injury treatment and uh, research that's all folks we were walking back to our apartment thank you for watching stay tuned hvala na gledanju ostanite na kanalu